Hi Stanley, I have a neat little book today to read to you. It's called King for a Day, which is what you're going to be on your birthday. Although I don't think this one's about birthdays. It's a foggy day in SoCal, so I thought we'd read King for a Day. Is that you, buddy? Huh? Is that you? This is about a holiday that Arab people share and enjoy and it looks like they have kites so let's find out about this there we go let's see if grandpa can read this yet basant is the most exciting day of the year with feasts and music and parties people celebrate the arrival of spring and many will make their way to the rooftops of lahore oh it's in india to test their skills in kite flying battles. Oh boy, that sounds like fun, huh? See the little boy? And it says, I'm up early. My brother and sister arrive, still rubbing sleep from their eyes. My brother asks, Malik, is that all you made? My sister says, how can you be king of Besant with only one kite? It's called Falcon. Insa Allah. It will be fast enough. I send my brother many blocks downwind so he can catch the kites I will set free. And I got a cat on the table that just jumped up too. Maybe she'll come into the picture. There's the bully next door. Ha! It's time to make him pay for hitting me and throwing stones at my sister. I'll get back at him with Falcon. The bully shouts at us, calling my sister a bad name. My sister yells right back, but when she turns around, I can see she's hurt inside. See? <laughs> Whoops, there goes a kitty. The breeze lifts the bully's huge kite. His kite is so big, I nickname it Goliath. It must have cost a fortune. Falcon is small, built for speed. I let out enough of my special string for my sister to carry Falcon to the edge of the roof. Don't step on the tails, I cry. Don't rip them. See, there's the kite. On the count of three, my sister jumps. I tug on the string and Falcon leaps into the sky. I'm ready to attack. I work my string, dipping falcon so it circles Goliath. Because it's so big, Goliath is slow. My kite string rubs the bully's kite string. Snip! I've sliced it. Goliath flies free and the bully's string drops from the sky like a fishing line with nothing on the hook. See that? And there it is, up there in the sky. And there it is over there. It's falling down. The bully picks up his other kite, a smaller, faster kite. He gets it climbing on the rising currents of air until it's almost as high as Falcon. I take a deep breath, bracing myself. The bully's kite circles, trying to trap Falcon. I move away, watching closely for the first attack. The bully pulls his kite left. Quickly, I pull down as hard as I can, sending Falcon into a steep dive. Let up, Malik, my sister yells. You're going to crash. See, there they are on the rooftops, flying their kites. Just before Falcon hits the rooftop, I pull it up and around several times, snagging the bully's string so he cannot get free. I reel in the bully's kite to, to my sis so my sister can grab it. The bully's done. He has no more kites. He storms downstairs. And we got his kite. I guess that's the whole purpose of the kite flying thing. Look at all those kids and their kites. There we go. I move on to other kites. It's easy for Falcon to pluck them from the sky 
as it really as if it is really a bird of prey. So that's the whole purpose is catching everybody else's kites, huh? Look at all those kites in the sky. Big kites, little kites, fancy and plain, even kites made of old newspapers. Sometimes I catch them in groups, making wide circles around clusters of kites. Falcon slashes through their strings. For a while, kites fly where the wind carries them. When they land, they'll belong to whoever finds them. But at least they'll have tasted freedom. And Sa'ala, I am really king of Basant today. Throughout the day, my brother brings some of the kites I have freed up to the roof. Among them is Goliath. My sister stacks them in a pile. Sometimes loose kites float close enough for me to catch. Falcon tangles their strings and I draw them in. My sister catches some too. She uses a long bamboo pole topped with thorns. If I am king, she is queen of Basant. See that? Hole that she's using in the stack of kites that they're getting. They're all seeming to be having fun, huh? At the end of the day, we have a big pile of kites. I choose the two I want, then my brother and sister get their picks. After they've chosen, they start back downstairs. My sister says, Malik, you coming? Not yet. The sun is setting on a magnificent day. I want to stay up here to watch the watch to feed the feel the cool breeze. I want to make my day last a little bit longer. See the sun setting and the birds. Suddenly I hear yelling from below. The bully pushes a young girl to the ground. Then he grabs her kite and runs into his house. The girl gets to her feet. Sobbing, she heads down the alley, trailing the kite string behind her. Something makes me pick up Goliath and drop it over the side of the roof. It floats, slicing the air side to side to land close beside her. The crying stops. The girl picks up Goliath. I duck just as she looks up to see where it came from. When I look again, she's dancing along. Then she rounds the corner. She's gone. But she got Goliath. Look at all the fireworks. I bet you you've seen fireworks at home too. One by one, the stars come out till they shine down like a million jeweled kites. My day is done. I'm no longer king of Basant. It's time to go downstairs and join my brother and sister. We have many stories to tell of Falcon's triumphs. And tomorrow, I will start designing a new kite, an even better kite, for next Basant, when in Salah, I will be king again. And that's the end of the story. Okay. Hope you enjoyed that. It was a little different story, wasn't it, about a boy and his kite? and wanting to be the best kite flyer that he could. Well, now you have a good day, and best be the best that you can too, Stanley.